Hi, welcome to a special DIY edition of Info Nuggets with Amy. I'm your host, Amy. I'm the assistant branch manager and adult services librarian at the main library. Now, a few weeks ago, a woman called our reference desk and she had some questions on how to use Hoopla on her television. While we answer troubleshooting questions like this fairly frequently, it is admittedly kind of hard to troubleshoot technology over the phone when you can't see what the patron is seeing. So I thought, gee, wouldn't it be nice if somebody created a video that kind of walked people through this step by step? Oh, if only someone would create a video. So here you go. Today we're going to talk about how to get Hoopla off of your phone and onto your TV. Don't know what Hoopla is? It's a pretty fantastic service offered for free by the St. John's County Public Library System. With your library card, you have access to this subscription database where you can get thousands of videos, television shows, ebooks, e audiobooks, comic books, a whole bunch of stuff. Now, the one limitation is you can only download seven items per month. So be a little bit careful when you first come across the service and see a lot of stuff in the catalog. You do have the option of creating a watch later queue so you can download them when you're ready for them and when you have space available for your monthly allotment. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step is to create your free Hoopla account. You can do so by downloading the app onto your phone or onto your tablet, but you can also create the account on any other internet enabled device such as a laptop or PC. I'm starting off here at our website, sjcpls.org, hovering over eLibrary, and then clicking on Hoopla. From here, it will go ahead and bring you to where you can go ahead and sign up and get a free account with Hoopla. You'll just type in your email address, create a password, and then confirm a password. If you're doing it on the website, it's important to start off at the St. John's County Library site first in order to confirm that you are one of our patrons. Once you click on everything, you'll click on Agree, and then you'll have access to your account. Now with your free Hoopla account, you have access to literally thousands of different movies or videos, and you will are able to check out up to seven items per month. So keep that in mind when you're selecting items. I'm gonna go ahead and do a search for one of my favorite movies of all time, Spaceballs. And indeed, we do have Spaceballs available through Hoopla. So here I'm going to go ahead, click on the cover, and there's two things I can do at this point. I can either click on this little heart button right down here at the bottom and it will save it in a list. So later on if I want to check it out, I can do that. Or if I'd like to borrow it right now, I can just go ahead, click on borrow. I'll have access to it for three days following whenever I click here on borrow title. Some movies are only two days, some are three days, it just depends on the title. So I'm clicking here on Borrow Title, and now it's saved under my account for the next three days. Now we need to sync Hoopla to whatever sort of streaming service that you have for your TV. For this example, I'll be using Roku. From here, I'll go into my channel store, and this is pretty much how you'll do it on any other device. Look for a channel store or whatever the equivalent of the channel store is. And I'll go ahead and search for Hoopla. And here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the image of Hoopla and then click here on Add Channel. And it's letting me know that Hoopla has been successfully added to my Roku account. Now we'll go ahead and turn on your TV and activate whatever streaming provider you have. Here we are at Roku, and I don't see the channel immediately on my list. That's okay. It usually comes up at the very bottom. So you'll just scroll through all of the different channels that you have until you get to the bottom of the list. And there it is, Hoopla. So we'll go ahead, click on that and activate it for the first time. Here it's welcoming us and it wants to make sure that we have a Hoopla account. We do have one, so we're going to ignore the link and just click on Next. Now it is going to link a streaming device from our Hoopla account to our Roku account. 
and it's giving us a four digit code right here or a four letter code. We are going to need to enter this into Hoopla so we can sync the two accounts. And back to the computer again, and now I'll enter in that four letter digit code that they gave me. This code is going to change every single time, so don't use this code, but instead use the code that they give you when you try to go ahead and log in. And here it goes. It says my code has been validated and I can now use Hoopla on your device. And indeed, my Hoopla channel automatically updated once I entered the code and verified that this was my account. And here's the movie that I selected. Now, you do have a search feature here on the Hoopla app, but speaking from experience, using this menu can get kind of clunky really quick. So I found it's much easier to open up Hoopla on my phone or on my laptop, find a movie there, add it to my queue, and then go ahead and turn Hoopla on on the TV, and then it's already waiting for me in my queue. So I can just go ahead and click directly on the movie and get started. I hope you found this helpful. If you ever have any further questions, feel free to go to our website, www.sjcpls.org, where you can find phone numbers for any of your local branches, and we even have an Ask a Librarian chat service if you have any further questions. So thanks for joining me today, and I wish you luck.